Hey there viewers, my name is Trinsky and welcome back to another DCSS Sunday. Today we're of course jumping right back into the usual routine, trying to get away with every deed in the game and where we last left off. We'd fortunately made it through our dead ringer in one piece. I would hope so since we're starting with an amazing background and of course good old Gozeg who is probably my most consistent uh, god in the game. But yes, good old Shard did make it through in one piece, gave us the the pick-me-up we needed, a bit of a, a change from our, what has become our usual pace, I should say. But of course, we're going to jump right back into the mix of things today, probably with an Ice Elementalist Merfolk. We'll see, maybe Behemoth, we'll see what kind of alters we get as we go here, but course who knows what the dungeon has in store so without further ado let's get ready to hop into it I'd be remiss if i didn't quickly point out i mean this isn't new splash art for the game but it is the the be all end all of why we keep natasha alive look how happy they are at the reunion good old boris and natasha just adorable how could we possibly kill Mostly just Natasha Boris, I'm sorry, sometimes needs must, but hey, it's never permanent with you at the very least, so can't feel too bad about it. But there we go, with that out of the way, let's get ready to hop right into it, shall we? So an Ice Elementalist Merfolk, and <laughs> sounds good, safe it, I'm glad you showed up. I was going to go with something a lot less uh less creative less funny maybe ariel maybe siren but spelt kind of funky like but i love it sheldon it will be and hey kyo as well how's it going and okie dokie i guess with that we're just about ready to hop into it so we'll set some arbitrary caps to our skills here of course get auto pickup done and dusted sorted out here and last but not least rather <laughs> cannot talk to save my life here let's also grab that game seat just in case any of you lovely folks are uh, playing along at home here and want to see how you fare in the same dungeon so we'll plop that bad boy in and with that we are ready to go so we definitely want to find a weapon right away and a short sort of draining will definitely do the trick thank you because yes we have freeze available to us a melee range spell so the first level of being an ice elementalist generally the uh the trickiest piece of the puzzle here to sort out but we'll just play it carefully play it a little bit slowly maybe when we can afford to just slap away with our, our short sword, we will in fact do so. Exactly, yeah. Once we hit level 3 is when everything starts to take off. I mean, not only do we get ramparts, but we also get Ozku's armor. So, you know, good offense, good defense. It's basically just the dream all in one fantastic package. So, that is the goal for the moment here. Of course, we also do have to get our training to a point where these are going to be fully castable. Not too hard to get them castable, seeing as how they're already down to only a 10% failure rate, but for convenience, we need it to not be a catastrophic failure risk, just so that we don't have to confirm literally every time we try and cast the spell that yes, indeed, we do wish to do this. I mean, I appreciate the effort to save us from ourselves, DCSS, by and large is necessary when I'm behind the wheel here, but in some cases, we maybe just maybe have the slightest idea of, uh, of what we're trying to do here. But there we go, and we can not immediately learn both. We're a little bit behind on the spell levels. I mean, spell casting is coming up here in just a bit, but I guess for the moment we'll learn Ramparts, give us that nice offensive oomph here for the moment, but we'll see if we end up using it too, too much, actually. <laughs> no, what would it be if we didn't fail our first 7% rate? Perfect. Let's try that again, and there we go. A nice little advertisement. Ooh, I will switch out for a short sword of speed, as I accidentally click out of window there. Whoopsie daisies. And there we go. Fantastic. And with that, we should pretty much be done the first floor here. Maybe the occasional 
slug buddy to hang around. There we go. And, ooh. Flow Terrence with your 13 damage. I mean, only 20 health. What does that look like? With 1d6 per turn on our end, and then combo that with either constant freezes coming down or attacking with a short sword of speed. I mean, chances are we should be able to kill you, but I would like you to have to take a few more steps. So let's play this a little bit on the safe side. We'll run to a different stairwell, and hopefully we end up in a slightly more advantageous position. I mean, this is definitely not too bad for fighting the snaky boys here as we just let them come to us. That's fantastic. Say plays run away and come back at like level four. Exactly. And would you look at that? Level four, just in time. Beautiful. Look at those cold bloods getting slowed. It is a thing of beauty. That's the one major um, bit that you're hoping for as an ice elementalist is that you do end up finding. Hey, Kwaswal. Kwaswal? Uh, Why am I saying that so weird? Kwaswal? Uh, but you do hope that you find Snake as one of your S-branches, because it's definitely a little bit easier to contend with than it is on your usual characters. I mean, we'll see how everything shakes out. That would kind of pen getting further cold spells like Freezing Cloud added to our book here, which is in no way guaranteed. But again, we'll see how everything works its way through. Do I want to go with Quaz? kind of interesting I mean it's always the high risk high reward play style of course because you'll be making a tons of noise attracting everyone and everything to your spot on the floor but it is a nice early altar here and I find it hard to say no to Quasal. again a, a soft spot in my heart for being the first deity that I ever won the game with let's do it I don't know, we were originally going to hold out for Behemoth. But I think this could be kind of fun and interesting, especially since immunity to clouds. If we do get freezing clouds... <laughs> Thanks, Kia. <laughs> oh, we are on a roll today. Essentially, though, just was... Uh, I explained that we fixed the internet issues from last week, but unfortunately have replaced them with a new fun slew of technical difficulties, fun activities for us to deal with. One of which is me just not realizing that we were muted. So that's perfect. What a great way to start our Sunday. Oh me oh my. Well, let's see. Sheldon still exists, so we didn't scratch everything. Is it going to be like pre-shaft, post-shaft? It is post shaft, but I think this was right when we got shafted down. Okay, so I know Safed was mentioning that potentially the the source of the issue there was Vehement's displeasure at having been snubbed by the the Quasal choice, and you know, definitely might have been onto something there. <laughs> oh, but do we do we listen or do we not learn from our mistakes? definitely not one to uh to learn from my mistakes in general if this channel's anything to say about it so you know what we do when the gods spin our face we get spinning right back so we're gonna try it out here for better or for worse probably the latter let's see what happens shall we you my friend will actually want to step up to just so that you're not poking us from afar though trident of protection in our hands might be a fantastic idea so we'll grab that son of a gun and in fact i guess we'll be a little bit slow with it hmm i mean we do have the level three spells castable now and it's no longer annoyingly asking us if we're sure about things so we might actually be fine to start diversifying early on here. And let's throw on pole arms. With a plus three aptitude, it should train up in no time. And we can use this lovely trident here. Um, that's that's Robin, if I had to guess. So we'll surround ourselves with the ice here in more ways than one. Also getting Ozkuba's armor sorted. 
and that should be fantastic. We go up to 15 AC with the combination of our Icy Armor and Protection Brand, so that is just lovely. Bit of additional protection for us there. And okie dokie, let's just get right back into it. As we find our first artifact already, holy moly, Spirit Amulet. Little iffy, we don't have many magic points, so we're going to lose them very quickly. But if we're going a bit more on the hybrid side, then it works out great, especially with the addition of Slay plus 5, and the cold resistance will not be in strictly necessary. It definitely does a decent amount of heavy lifting when it comes to the, the theme of the run here, going full ice mode, so that seems fantastic. And there we go, finally running back into our friend Terrence here, hello my buddy, goodbye. And with that, let's just try to finish off this floor here. Wow, more protection from cold. Fantastic. Oh, I'd love to see it. Well, it definitely means that we're in a pretty decent spot. We could bother training some summoning here to, uh, to get Ice Beasts up and running, but I'm not too, too worried about it. We're gonna have to manually attack Oh gosh. Um, confusion. Hey, thanks, Sigmund. Always a bit of a rough spot. We could start chugging potions now, I guess, and just hope that we get rid of it. Oh, it was canceling. That's interesting. We'll put up another ice wall, and hopefully this is enough to take care of our, our new friend here. Beautiful. And a rope of fire resistance I will immediately change over to. The plus two AC also doesn't hurt whatsoever, so that is fantastic. And let's just keep rolling with it, shall we? Fusion, your greatest foe, uh, isn't it? Isn't it to all of us here? Unfortunately, it's a integral part of the dungeon's ecosystem, so we're gonna have to deal with it. If not now, then definitely in the future, but my gosh. Uh, hey. There, Natalie, we were just talking earlier about how we we do not wish to do any harm to you, my friend. Unfortunately, I think the storm might wake up our, our poor cat buddy. Maybe not, though. In fact, seems like Natasha sleeps like the dead, takes after Boris in that regard, I guess. And we'll just wait for you to notice me, my hobgoblin friend. And there we go, Natasha ruining everything real quick, but that's fine. Fortunately, we do know we can take care of you once, not the end of the world. You will come back and are still alive. Son of a gun. New plan. I turn you into something. Oh, a wolf is not good. Maybe I should have checked what the options were. Adder, Bullfrog, or Bogart? Earlier it was Killer Bee, Jelly, or Wolf. Oof. Well, is it really killing Natasha? It's a dog. Natasha isn't a dog. Main reason why I have to find myself thinking this is because unfortunately, you keep coming back as a fast son of a gun. Oh. That's the first time I've ever seen Natasha revive on the same screen that we started on. Um, okay. You know what? We're just gonna leave you. Uh, yes, my armor will break. That's totally fine. So you're saying there's still a chance that we keep Natasha alive after all that. So let's let's do our best to see that come to fruition, shall we? I'm just looking for a downstairs as soon as possible. With Quasnel, we make enough noise that there's almost no shot that our feline friend won't uh, eventually come our direction as we continue to wander about. So... If I could get that stairway just immediately, please and thank you. There we go. That is beautiful. We got enough of that floor that we didn't really miss out on too much experience either. So it should not be the end of the road whatsoever. I do not like that we just came into a, a beautiful forest here. Normally a fan of nature, but unfortunately in this context, it means that we do not have access to frozen ramparts, seeing as how trees don't count as walls, unfortunately. There we go, we get back out into 
regularly scheduled dungeon. Unfortunately, Bork does a bunch of damage. Holy moly, friend. It's just with your glaive, too. Jeez Louise, you do not fool around. But there we go. We managed to settle, and now we can hopefully just make it through the rest of these sons of guns. It's likely that we'll try to swap into heavier armor at some point if we're continuing this pseudo hybrid style. But we'll have to see how the next little while of the dungeon goes. It will definitely inform our decisions moving forward. Also, kind of shocked that we don't burn down the whole forest walking in there with flame clouds abound, but. I guess I'll just be happy that we're not completely ruining the, the ecosystem here. Oh, hey, Fahimut. Don't mind me. Ooh. Poison resistance. Almost just in time there. As the, the bees start to come in around us here. Let's pop upstairs. And I think I will immediately swap over. Bit of extra AC with the leather armor. As well as that poison resistance being just fantastic. And right, I meant to check my spells, still just at 3% failure, so that's not too bad whatsoever. And Jib, if you could just take a few steps towards me here, my friend, appreciate it. Jeez Louise, that mind burst hurts. Uh, Jib, if you could just be taken down, my friend, beautiful, there we go. Fortunately, we don't need to worry about the poison, so that's totally fine. So apologies, safe. We forsake or forsook. We have forsaken <laughs> the the call of Vehemet here. Don't worry, we will almost assuredly pay the price for our transgressions, if not in this lifetime, then in the next. So Vehemet will have the final word, I am sure. That is one of the the benefits of being an all-knowing immortal deity of uh, destruction here, I guess. Can I afford to just stand here? I don't want to stumble out of the way. And you know, it does seem to work out for us, so don't mind that whatsoever. Ooh, and the white imp showing up. Normally, a huge pain in the butt on your ice elementalist characters, but fortunately we have decent training and aptitudes towards our, our lovely trident here. So it's not the end of the world, at least not yet. And that should be the floor here. Beautiful. 